Hi, my name is Tammy Ezegovich and I'm the director for the Head Start Early Head Start program here in Beaver County. Um, so Head Start is one of the programs that in Beaver County that the Private Industry Council offers. So I'm going to show you our new site here in Beaver Falls and College Hill. So we are going to be opening, or we actually have opened a classroom here at the Light of Salvation Church. So this is our newest location. But one of the nice things that we're going to do to add to this classroom is we're going to install a new playground. So I'm going to show you where that playground is going to be. So if you look at this nice big area, we're going to fence this in. So use your imagination. We're going to fence this in and we're going to put up a very nice um, playground for the children. So the equipment will be purchased. Um, like I said, a fence to keep children confined so that they can't run out into traffic. So we're really excited about um, this new center and all the space that it's going to provide children to um, come out and get their um, outside time and run off the, their wiggles. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take you inside and I'm going to show you the classroom inside. And then I also want to talk to you a little bit about our locations here in Beaver County. So just mask up, guys, and let's go in. out um, about our centers is security is really important to us we want to make sure that your children are safe so all of our centers have security so people cannot enter unless they have the code or unless they're going through the school district so again security is really important in keeping your children safe so you can see here security on this building Our typical Head Start classrooms. If you look over here, the children will have their cubbies. And one thing we did a little bit differently for children this year is they all got individual bins so that they can have their own toys, their own um, uh, manipulatives to play with. So again, just for COVID, we did things a little bit differently this year to keep children um, safe and free from sharing germs. Over here, we have little dividers. Um, and I think the one thing I really like about this is that children can still sit down, they can, sit, they can um, still are protected, but they can talk through here, they can still see each other, they can still interact even during COVID. Over here is where our circle time would be. So children would gather here for a story or <clears throat> to learn their alphabet or their numbers. Um, so again, this is a nice area for children to gather and interact with their, their teacher. Over here, this is probably my favorite, is books. This is the library area. So again, children come over here, they can read a book on their own, they can sit down, look through the pictures, or they can you know, sit down and um, have their, their teachers read a story to them, or they can make up their own story, whatever children want to do, that they can do that here. Over here is our science center. And I will take this up just to kind of show you some of the things that we have. That was a little heavier than I thought. So we have, um, what is this, a praying mantis. So they can see the praying mantis. They can look at it a little bit closer through the magnifying glass. Over here we have our block area. So children can build buildings or um, houses, whatever they want to do. They can do that here. And then we also have some other manipulatives here that they can play with. And then over here is our dramatic play area. So kids will be, you know, pretending to cook breakfast or, you know, uh, play house. But again, this is a dramatic play area. So this is, oh, over here, I forgot about the art center. So over here is our art center. So again, kids can um, paint, they can draw. Um, you know, create your own artwork. And then once we have children here, you'll notice that the artwork will all be displayed on the, um, on the walls for the children to enjoy for the rest of the year. Um, so again, this is a, a typical Head Start classroom, but one of the things that I really wanted to talk to you about today was 
you know, where we're located throughout the county. So I brought a cheat sheet because I can't remember all of them and I don't want to let anybody out. So currently Head Start at Beaver County has 421 Head Start slots. So that means we have 421 preschoolers that are ages three to five years old. And then we also serve early Head Start. We have um, 104 early Head Start children that we serve throughout the county. And that would be your infants, toddlers, and twos. Then we also have um, four child care partners. Our partners right now are Haynes Daycare, Precious Tots, Noah's Ark, and Rhyming Time. So what that means is that we help support the partners with resources to um, promote early learning in their classrooms. So we provide them with TNTA, tech, training and technical assistance. We purchase equipment for them um, and we support the families with the same types of services that we would provide to our enrolled Head Start children in our classrooms. We have 14 locations throughout the county. What I think I'm most proud of as the director is that seven of those locations are in, in school districts. We have such a strong relationship with the public school systems here. And that's probably the one thing that I'm most proud of is that relationship that we have. I think that relationship really promotes a smooth transition from our, for our children and for our families too, from Head Start to, um, to kindergarten. So like I said, I think that's one of the things I'm most proud of is those relationships that we have. Um, just to name where our centers are, we have, we're in the Alcoba Elementary School. In that center, we have five Head Start classrooms and we have one Early Head Start classroom. Um, Ambridge, we're not in the school district there, we are in the old Social Security building, if you know where that is. And there we have two Head Start classrooms and two Early Head Start classrooms. Beaver Falls 6th Avenue, we have two Early Head Start classrooms. Beaver Falls 7th Avenue, we have one Early Head Start classroom. Um, the Beaver Falls Presbyterian Church, we currently have three Head Start classrooms there. We have a classroom in Southside Elementary, Freedom Elementary. Uh, we have a classroom in Riverside Middle School. Uh, the New Brighton High School, we actually have two Head Start classrooms located there. And we have one Head Start classroom in the New Brighton Middle School. And then um, Hopewell Elementary, we have one classroom. And then on the campus of CCBC, we have one classroom, which is really convenient for any student who might be, um, you know, pursuing their degree there or taking some classes and they have young children. In Rochester, we have one Head Start and one Early Head Start. And then lastly, our last location, our newest location here is um, College Hill. So one other thing that um, I want to talk about is our home-based program. So of the 421 children that we serve throughout the county, a majority of them are in center-based programs, which means they physically come into a center for their instruction. That's both our Head Start and our Early Head Start. However, we do have 24 slots that are considered center-based, I mean home-based. So home-based instruction take, takes place one day, out of the month, I mean, out of the week, and it's for an hour and a half. And that's when the teacher actually goes to the goes to the home. Well, not right now, because we're doing virtual, but they would go into the home and sit down with both the mom and the child to do instruction. And the benefit of that is that it's a whole hour and a half that that child is getting one-on-one -on -one with that teacher. So they don't have to share that teacher with anyone. They get that whole hour and a half with the teacher. So we really are promoting um, the, the um, parent as the child's first and primary teacher. So I think that's the beauty of our home-based program. And then also I think that that home base really helps us reach the families who don't live close to one of our centers. So if they're too far out and we can't really get to them to provide that transportation, that is definitely an option for families. And then I also say that sometimes parents aren't really ready to let go of their children and have them come to a center with us. So it gives them the opportunity to get to know a little bit about Head Start and feel comfortable to possibly um, send their child, you know, later when they feel more comfortable with that center-based um, setting. Uh, as I mentioned, transportation. Uh, we do provide transportation for our Head Start locations but not for our early Head Start location. That's just because 
we cannot transport those infants, toddlers, and twos. But transportation is provided. And if you saw the um, video that Debbie Parshall did, who is our transportation supervisor or manager, you will see that all of our children come to the center in three point harnesses. So they're safely transported to our centers. Um, classroom time. So during non-COVID, our classrooms would operate either five or six hours a day. So that would be, depending on their location, some locations do six hours, some locations do five hours. But at all of our centers, our children receive breakfast and lunch every day. Um, early Head Start. So Early Head Start is a little bit different. Early Head Start operates six and a half hours a day, and they operate year round, where our Head Start program operates typically at the end of August, all the way through the end of, um, end of May. So a little bit of a difference with our Head Start and the Early Head Start, but still, same thing. Our goal with all of our children, regardless if they're infants, toddlers, and twos, or if they're three, four, or five years old, is school readiness. That is our goal is prepare children to um, transition to, um, to kindergarten. So we would love to have you as a part of our Head Start family and have your children enroll in our program. So if you are interested, please contact our office at 724-728-2110. Thank you.